Council Member Snow, do we have a quorum? Yes, we do. A quorum being called by the committee to order. And, um, oh, we don't have one here. I do. Okay. Councilman Rapid, do you just have a case? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather today, we ask for your blessings and guidance over this meeting. We thank you for all of our blessings. We thank you for our family, our friends, and this fellowship. Please lead each one of us in the right direction and watch over our community. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dr. Farmer, would you lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and justice for all. Uh, Council, you have in front of you our agenda, and at this time I would entertain a motion that we adopt the agenda as presented. Motion to adopt as presented. And a Sorry. second. I have a motion and a second to adopt the agenda as presented. Any uh, further discussion by Council? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same. And the agenda is adopted. Please let the record note that uh, Council Member John Fausten is not with us today. Under new business, consideration and approval of advertising of 2021 property tax and a five year history, we're going to ask our city manager, Brandon Douglas, to bring this to us. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council, and uh, for the public. Uh, our finance director, city clerk, uh, Beverly Ragland, uh, apologizes. She is not able to uh, make it today uh, due to illness. So in her stead, I will try to do the best I can do not to mess up what her and Lindsay do on the daily. Uh, I do want to go ahead and put it out there that uh, this particular meeting is not to approve any military. This is merely to provide staff with direction on how to advertise. Uh, as you may recall, uh, since my tenure, we have uh, sought after the elected body's desire for what the millage rate is going to be. Uh, you may recall that we have done this during our September meeting with an October approval date. Uh, during the August 2nd regular council meeting, we had advised you all that we were fortunate to be provided some inflationary numbers from the county that did reveal that there would be uh, an increase in the tax digest. Unfortunately, we were not able to receive the consolidated sheets in time to make any sort of determination at our August 2nd meeting for how do we want to advertise. Uh, in the most simplistic way of describing it, you have your existing millage rate, which is your taxing authority that the state imposes on property, uh, properties in the city. Uh, we're not the school, and we're not the county, uh, we are the city. So if you pay city taxes, the millage rate affects what you pay. The uh, rollback rate is what is calculated and the most simplistic way to say it is, uh, if uh, there's uh, you paid $100 last year, then in 2021, to pay that $100, you need to roll back uh, if there's inflationary or some valuation changes. So what we're asking y'all is, do y'all want us to keep the millage the same, the implications of that is if we keep the millage rate, last year's rate of 5.655, uh, we would have an increase of 77,931. However, this would result in us needing to go through the truth and taxation public hearings uh, as we did in 2019 and as we did in 2020. Uh, so we want to just seek out your direction. The positive for this year is our rollback rate is 5.558, and that in effect would 
prevent the need of having to go through the public hearing process of a notice of a tax increase. Uh, I do believe that in this week's um, paper, uh, there were advertisements of the other taxing jurisdictions whereupon adopting their rollback. Uh, so staff is comfortable with the rollback rate. The 5.655 is our existing. The rollback is 5.558. Um, so the margins of the last year's versus the rollback uh, may not necessarily be of anything of consequence. So in order to uh, meet the deadline that the county would like to achieve with September 1st the middle of the digest, uh, by seeking out how you all want to advertise, if we do the rollback rate, we would put it in the uh, newspaper and at your September 13th meeting, you would approve the rollback rate, and that would be the end of the discussion. Uh, if you want to keep it the same, so staff is not recommending, and there's been no desire to even remotely bring up anything beyond keeping it the same or rollback. However, we would still put it in the paper, but we would have to go through the three public hearings that you're familiar with by now. So. Beyond that, uh, Lindsay and I stand to answer any questions you may have. Council, any questions of Lindsay or Graham on this? So, so we roll our tax, our mill, millage rate back to keep the taxes the same, right? Yes, sir. So the inflationary part, I understand um, those properties that have actually increased in value, they are actually getting a break, is that correct? I, I would not want to, there, there's always, when you're dealing with thousands of different properties uh, in our jurisdiction, I hate to paint a broad stroke, okay. but the way that the rollback is calculated is to eliminate the notice of the tax increase, because even if you keep the millage rate the same, there will be some properties that have no effect whatsoever. Mm -hmm. However, because the state recognizes that there may be some changes to some property owners, right. the jurisdiction has to advertise a tax increase. Right. So some jurisdictions, as Jasper had done for many years, just roll back each year to, to help prevent the, the appearance of taxing people greater. Um, so that is why the, the rollback rate versus the Millage rate from last year does not necessarily give staff any heartburn of rolling back. Okay. But we still have to advertise that we rolled back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. We would we would publish all the requisite uh, state forms and five-year history in next week's uh, paper, which is what this meeting is designed to do. Is you know even though y'all may say to roll back the millage rate, we're not approving it. We're approving to move forward with the advertising of it for the 26th advertisement. And then on your September 13th meeting, it would just be an adoption of. Correct. Any further questions, Council? At this point, I would entertain a motion that, uh, that we roll, use the rollback rate of 5.558 and, uh, and authorize staff to proceed with the advertising. Motion to approve advertisement for millage rate of 5.558. Need a second, please. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion by council? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say aye. And the motion is carried that you are authorized to begin the uh, advertising. Now, at this particular point in time, I have, uh, it's not on our agenda, but I will recognize our city manager and he has an announcement that will uh, that will go out to uh, all of us and our public at large. Brandon, if you will, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Council. Uh, <clears throat> you all may know it's going to be a little bit of a sweet, but I do have a, a statement I'd like to read that uh, Mayor Lawrence and Jasper City Council have been offered and respectfully accepted a position with another jurisdiction. 
Uh, it has been a blessing to have been afforded the opportunity to work with each of you for nearly two and a half years. I was humbled when offered the position as the city manager for this wonderful community, and along the way we have achieved many positives throughout this journey. Although there are many more positives that are ahead for this organization and community, I am confident that each of you leading the way with the support of a great city team will achieve far more in the coming months and years. I am encouraged that the support you have provided me throughout my tenure will translate very well with the next city manager. Progressing this organization and community forward would only enhance the quality of life that you all began implementing prior to and upon my arrival. The personal and professional decision to transition back to a familiar role I held for a dozen years prior to my tenure as Jasper City Manager is one that I am convicted is the path that God has led me towards. It is expected that my transition will be completed on Friday, October the 8th, 2021. However, I will be available to lend support leading up to that date as well as thereafter to ensure a smooth transition. Thank you again for each of your guidance, support, and most of all, friendship. Thank you all. Thank you, Brandon. And to support that statement, I wish to say that uh, all of us wish that that was not going to be his journey. It, it was unanimous among council that, uh, that we would have preferred that he stay for us, you know, approximately 20 years or so. And, uh, but we are thankful indeed for the two and a half years that you have given us. And in the last year and a half of my life, personally, I will tell you that he has taught me one amazing amount of information. Now, that does not mean that I am qualified to do what he does and no one else is. But uh, we will, since the city of Jasper was, uh, has been here since 1857, then we're going to continue the city of Jasper in, uh, in the absence of Brandon Douglas. However, there is no way to replace him. So what we are going to be obligated to do is to hire a new city manager. And, um, and we will start that process immediately. We want to thank Brandon for the service he's given our city. And from the bottom of my heart, I can say that it was an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. I invite you. It's been a great time, Brad. You told me things about God and city and government that I never really took an interest in until I saw more. And I hope we can continue our friendship. I know that too. I'll have more to say when I pull it together, but you've been a great asset at a very, very critical time. Thank you, sir. I just want to say thank you for two and a half years. We have, uh, uh, the two of us have worked closely together during a good part of that time, uh, during the tr transition, and uh, I, I learned so much and I appreciate uh, everything you've done for me personally and for the city of Jasper, our community. I agree. I think that you have gotten us out of a tough spot. I think you've led us. Your leadership has been just, I mean, I don't even have the words for it because you have been such a great leader. You have led us where we needed to be. You guided us where we needed to be. And I wish you the best. I hate that we're losing you because you have been just astronomical for this community. But I do wish you the best on your new adventure. And thank you for everything. Council, at this point, I will get a motion that we adjourn. Make a motion we adjourn. Second, please. Second. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Uh, uh. Uh.